Hey folks, I'm Anthony Snyder and I'm your candidate to make collectibles and collecting great again. <laughs> Here on this election day, I have a red mask but I'm wearing a blue top so I'm like I'm straddling uh, the tracks here for my customers. Uh, I'm not, not uh, being political, but let's just look at some fun art. Because if you're upset on uh, either side of the tracks and want to cheer yourself up, here we go. Got a really nice pencil, Ramita, Spider-Man head. The kind of thing he would do at a convention 20 years ago. He doesn't do those uh, appearances anymore. I got a really nice Archie strip by the creator Bob Montana that's from the late 50s yeah 1958 to all your Sherlock Holmes fans out there that you British guys there's two characters you guys love the most Robin Hood and Sherlock Holmes that's like if you put those two guys together you have Hawkeye Batman uh, kind of mixed into there and uh, I don't even know yeah that's a nice Sunday Okay, this is a hot character, Bloodstone. She was uh, Imagey. She was an Image, and then uh, Marvel brought her in, I believe, and uh, now she's a good, warm character in the MCU. Kind of uh, might be happening. Kind of in the Marvel Dark Universe type stuff. This is a really cool card art, Spawn card art. Now, Spawn art is hard to get. Good Spawn art is really hard to get. Yeah, you have guys that, you know, did spawn, like McFarlane that Denver parted with, a, I don't know if he parted with anything, and then Capullo, and then, you know, it's like, those guys, that's expensive stuff, so, you know, you like spawn, and obviously there's a lot of people that do, because um, the spawn ones I just got back, they're, they're, they're going quick. Now, this is another image guy, Silvestri, that's available. It's a cover from Lord Cumulus. And we have a great Dylan page with Black Canary and other Justice Leaguers. And um, and the death of this like Jimi Hendrix guy. This is a really nice page. It's like, you know, it's it's by Joyce Chin, Art Adams' wife. And she's she's quite talented. Wow, look at the detail. Great detail in that. The London Bridge and, and the streets of London to the vampire girl. This is a, um, a New Universe stuff, US1, by Herb Trimpey with that kind of push in eye thing that he always liked to do in those Hulk transitions. You know, those were always my favorite pages in the when I was reading the Hulk, Trimpey Hulk when I was a kid is uh, you know the transformation pages now these these went up this is that cardy set of cards and what we have here is Teen Titans Batman and Aquaman the three things he's known more most for so to get a whole set available very rare. It's the only one I've ever had. So, and as far as trading card art, I mean, we are really getting serious about Pokemon. Uh, and my other guy really is very serious about magic. So, if you have any Pokemon or magic stuff, we just sent it. I just sent in more Pokemon cards to get graded this week than I did comic books. You know this month so uh, the poke the amount of Pokemon stuff going out to grading is outnumbering the comic books right now so again in our you know never-ending search for diversification at Anthony's comic book art we will be supplying the collector market with graded pocket man cards yeah okay now these are a batch of stuff that I got from these are Norm Rockwell's nephew. They carry the Rockwell name and he did some political, uh, you know, 
political and man it's it's kind of caught in between just you know story illustration type stuff because it's not really a they're not really gags they're just kind of they're illustrating uh, political uh, situations in a way that uh, you know they're not get it's not gag art you know and it's you know it's nicely done and it's representative this is a cool page from uh, Superman the movie Superman 3 Lana Lane Clark you know and the Christopher Reeve likeness and uh, and such all right here's a kid-friendly crazy uh, uh, Marvel Kids. I think that's when uh, Fox had some stuff going on with Marvel Kids, X Men, Mutant Run. Oh, this was actually a giveaway at McDonald's. That's why I thought that one. Okay, so we have a painted page from Dark Shadows, that second generation thing. Uh, this is uh, this is a whole group. It's it's here's the job description from from the writer at Marvel. It's on Marvel stationery. And you have these pages. There's Spider Girl with Doctor Doom. It's a lot of like kind of an animation stuff and like uh, uh, what did they call that? Uh, pan and Scan and Motion Comic. It's from that era so there's a lot of different stuff, but these setup pages, these master setup pages are really nice. And then you have like a bunch of detail stuff, but you know, there's a there's a lot of nice setup pages. Here's Dr. Doom and Venom. And Dr. Doom, Venom, Hulk, Venom, Spider-Man. So that is an entire job. And that's uh, interesting. And here's another entire job of Jetsons. Here's Elroy and his family. And you know, from when you consider this is from the 60s and, and all the technology that they showed on that show, that was that was really right on the money. It was like, you know, they had video teleconferencing and, and they, you know, George basically worked from home and you know, stuff like that. Okay, this is Marvel Animation. Magneto set up and another one where he's rising. I got, um, I don't know, about a dozen pieces of this stuff. And um, people like them because, you know, I remember this very fondly. That 1993 uh, X-Men, uh, you know, that was the best thing on, that was the best hero thing on TV at the time, the X-Men cartoon. The only thing on TV at the time, especially for Marvel, what else was there? That right, right, right at that moment, like uh, the, the height of pop culture was like X Files. You know, we all watched X Files and Jerry Seinfeld and X Men cartoon. If you're into comics, <laughs> all right. So to continue on with the uh, Gray Morrow stuff, this is 37 pages of Civil War historical stuff, which is a great, great, great subject uh, uh, matter for Gray Morrow style. It's just, look at that. You have Grant and Sh General Sherman and uh, uh, Buell. I don't know who Buell was, but, and then you have them playing baseball in, you know, 1864, which is pretty cool. So that's a whole mess of pages, 37 pages. And uh, of the Battle of Shiloh, and uh, one of the things I wanted to, uh, you know, I like to feature different kinds of stuff on on our daily video reviews. And this was a deal that came in of this this uh, card set. It's called Classic Covers, and then they had, you know, this is the Joker. Uh, I think it's two fifty seven. Joker 251, 251, and and then they had Neil Adams sign it, and then this one is Neil Adams and Bernie Wrightson, so some of them are actually double signed, and that's the Raza Gould issue, Raza Gould issue, so Neil Adams signatures, 
And you know, Neo charges $50 a pop at, at shows and we're not even doing shows. So to say, you know, you want $50 for a vintage signature that was a sit down signature for this, for this card set, that's, you know, that's not a bad price. But, you know, I always do better. I'll probably put these out around 30, 35. I'm gonna organize these and put these out. Uh, possibly this week, because it's not just Neil Adams. We have Bernie Wrightson, Bernie Wrightson, Bernie Wrightson, Bernie Wrightson, Bernie Wrightson, all the way through from his monster set. So it wasn't just that one job. And then here's some Mike Magnolas. And various, well, there's Herb Trempe, he's gone, you know. And Rich Buckler, he's gone. Joe Kubert, he's gone. Stranko, thankfully, is still with us. And, you know, he's signed uh, some of the Star Wars stuff that he did. J. Scott Campbell, that's a, that's a good one. J. Scott Campbell. Uh, what else we got going on? Yeah, J. Scott Campbell, that whole page, really. Okay, and then, oh, Joe Sinnott. I didn't even realize I had Joe Sinnott autographs in here. This is Silver Age card set that Joe Sinnott signed. Uh, who else we got? Arthur Adams, Vintage Signatures, Magnola, Scott McDaniel, Jerry. <laughs> you see that? The creator of Joker. Jerry Robinson. He was a nice guy. I got along with Jerry Robinson. He would show up in the New York shows every now and then, and we would, I'd get along with him. Uh, he was a very down-to-earth guy. And Bill Sienkiewicz, not a down-to-earth guy. Bill Sienkiewicz, very talented. Uh, just, anyway. Uh, Bill Sienkiewicz, oh, Roy Thomas. These are, these are really nice. Roy Thomas. Chris Claremont, the writer of all the best X-Men stories. Matt Bush, somebody I got along with. And then Pete Craig Russell. It's all kinds. Charles Vess. Larry Hama, guy who designed almost all the G.I. Joe characters. He was working uh, both sides of the tracks on that one with the uh, with the toy manufacturer and then the Marvel and comics. Larry Hama, Andy Kubert. So these are these are fun. I mean, you know, I, I don't mind spending the money on getting a picking up a deal like this. Dick Giordano. He's another he's passed away. So and Mr. Jusco. All right, so that uh, I just wanted to show that today, as far as you know, we're we're doing different textures of what comic art is, and you know I have the the source material comic art, and then we have what's produced from comic art, trading cards and comic books. You know we're selling comic books like crazy off our eBay store, all the from reading issues to dollar books from here from the store. Uh, we have we created a little vault of two to five dollar books here to make uh, your shopping a little more expensive for you. <laughs> and then uh, we hope everything uh, works out with uh, you know vote for Pedro, where all your dreams will come true. <laughs> all right, folks, let's have a good night and uh, uh, an even better tomorrow. Keep calm and keep collecting.